About five years ago, I decided to pick up a camera and learn how to use it. And looking back on it, that was probably one of the most important decisions I've ever made. We'll get to the why in just a little bit, but if you're watching this video, the most pressing question on your mind might be the how. How do I get started? Hi everybody, for those of you who are new here, my name is Zach. I'm a photographer and arts administrator based in Santa Barbara, California. The good news is you don't need anything fancy to get started in photography. I started photography on my sister's Canon Rebel T2i, which for the better part of eight years had been collecting dust in her closet before I decided to pick it up and learn how to use it. You don't need the latest and greatest camera gear, to be a photographer, to start shooting, to learn photography. Really all you need is something that can take photos and a willingness and a desire to learn. The most important thing to remember is to just start shooting. This is a journey and it's important to just commit to the, the journey from the start, not the destination of, of becoming something or achieving something. It's it's about the process of learning and the process of shooting. Despite our iron will to improve, despite the countless nights of soaking up every last drop of inspiration from our favorite photographers' accounts on Instagram, we only improve with time and experience. It might seem futile at first, you know, trying to scrape together a portfolio, trying to learn everything that you can about shooting desperately attempting to make the images you want to make and not succeeding. And there are good moments along the way, meeting amazing people, making work you didn't think you could make, building connections. I love photography. It was a passion of mine that has become a major part of my full-time job and is also a really important side business for me. And more than that, it's just a passion that I enjoy and that has improved my life and it's helped me find fulfillment uh, as an artist in many ways. And what I love about photography is that anyone can find fulfillment through their photographic process. What I love about this art form is the democracy of it. Anyone can pick up a camera at any point in their life, learn how to use it, and find success. And of course, we measure that success in different ways, right? Not everyone's going to be a professional photographer. Not everybody wants that. Some people just want to learn how to more completely document their lives or have something to take with them on vacation to remember those times spent away from home. A camera can do whatever you want it to do for you. Photography is so multifaceted. A camera can make us documentarians, reporters, scientists, artists, enthusiasts. The craft is technical and artistic all in one. So why should you pick up a camera in 2022? Because you want to? <laughs> because it could change your life? Because it could make you happy? It can give you something to look forward to and it can teach you new ways of documenting your life. Recently, a fellow YouTuber and photographer named Roman Fox made a post here on YouTube. And basically, he was calling out this sort of elitist culture that can exist in the community. This idea that certain individuals are real photographers and others should never use that terminology to refer to themselves. I think that this is really damaging in a lot of ways, and it's definitely something that I struggled with as I grew into my career as a photographer and videographer. It was always in the back of my mind, like, can I call myself a photographer? Is the work I'm making legitimate? And I'm here to tell you that if you've made the decision to pick up a camera and learn how to use it, you're a photographer and you should allow that term to empower you as you enjoy making images with your camera. I think that's really important, giving ourselves the freedom to create and use the camera and not worry about being a true photographer or professional. That's not the point. That's not important. Don't let those negative voices discourage you or minimize the experience that you're having from making images. I truly believe that 
photography has the ability to <laughs> change lives. Um, for those of us who are interested in going down this journey of working with the camera, it really is special. So I am looking forward to the images that I will make in 2022. And I'm so grateful for this platform where I can share some of them with you. So thank you for following along here on YouTube and over on Instagram. Love to have you here in the community. Thank you, thank you as always for watching. I'll see you soon, bye. Love is